Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we're just gonna relive a little bit. Let's talk about all the Smash Ultimate reveal trailers because it's been a heck of a ride. It has been absolutely crazy. Every single thing, every single thing that they've done has been insane. I know it's really sad that Smash Bros. is over, but I think it's a good time. Let's take a look back and go through each reveal trailer and we are going to start off with Inkling and not only it was Inkling the first trailer but it was like the announcement of smash world ultimate because i remember i remember logging on and i was like okay what's the what, what are you gonna see from nintendo today what are we gonna see is it like smash bros and then like i, I kind of thought like you know what if they did add something to smash 4 but i wasn't expecting anything from smash bros but then we found out the inklings are running around it started and it was like okay okay splatoon i'm not too big on splatoon myself but let's see what, what can we see here and it actually ended up being smash bros that got dark and then i started paying a little bit more attention i was like what Oh my god, and then you see that you saw the smash ball in his eye. That was the crazy part. You saw the smash ball in his eye. It was incredible. That was an awesome trailer, and it didn't give us anything else. Do you remember that? It didn't give us anything else. It was just the Smash Bros. And we're like, what? Is it going to be a port? And then everyone was like, is it going to be a new game, or is it going to be a port? And it sparked all that argument. It was the very beginning of a beautiful, beautiful journey. After that, they outdone themselves, which is arguably because a lot of people forget about this trailer. But the Ridley trailer is arguably the best Smash Bros trailer that we've ever had because nobody expected Ridley to be a character. Who expected Ridley to be a character? There were so many things going on. You see, you see all the fan rules all being made all the time. Everyone's like, no way Ridley can be a character. He's too big. And you know what? I was kind of a part of that, but I was like, you never know, right? Everybody wanted Ridley though, and they actually made it happen once you started seeing the tail start swiping Mario and all the characters. And it was so funny that Mario dies. Like I'm talking about, they make such good memes. They do it so, so well. You saw the tail going in, and you see, you hear the music hit, and Ridley actually made it into Smash Bros. Nobody could believe it. Everybody was like, oh my god, what does he get? And then the taunt where he sat up straight, it was, <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome, awesome, awesome to see Ridley. Arguably the best trailer of them all. After that, we had Simon Richter, which was huge for a lot of people, but personally not for me because I wasn't too big on Castlevania. But regardless, like I'm one of those players who really, really like to see any character join Smash Bros, really. I have a lot of fun just watching, like, okay, who's going to be in Smash Bros? Who's going to add to it? And then we still didn't know how big Smash Bros Ultimate was going to be. It was crazy to see Simon Richter, and then Richter came in. Everybody's like, no way, Richter's so much better than Simon. And then Simon got left out. Then he had some awesome memes about Simon being left out, and everybody wanted to play as Richter because Richter's better. I don't understand that. Again, I'm not too big on Castlevania, but it was a really, really cool trailer to be a part of. It was really cool to watch. After that, I think what we have here is, at the time, definitely was my by far my favorite trailer ever was King K. Rule because King K. Rule, if you don't remember, King K. Rule is one of the most requested characters of all time in Smash Bros. Everybody wanted King K. Rule to actually come here. And then, oh, the music, the da -na -na, da -da, you know, oh, it felt so good. And him charging its Donkey Kong, I watched that so many times at the end. It was like, oh my god, they actually put King K. Rule in this game. It was incredible. Love the King K. Rule trailer. That's, until DLC hit, that was my favorite Smash Bros. trailer of all time. They, uh, they started off with Ridley and King K. Rule. How much better can you get from that? And we're not even like close to being done the base game. After that, we had Isabelle because I'm a big Animal Crossing fan. I like Isabelle. I really thought the trailer was kind of fun. You know what's funny is when we saw the Animal Crossing thing, I wasn't going, okay, this is going to be an Animal Crossing thing. I'm like, I'm kind of thinking Isabelle's going to join Smash Bros here. And it was just her working at a desk. She gets an invitation invited to Smash Bros. There's not too much to say about that. A lot of people were actually upset because they were like, oh my god, what a shadow. I remember, oh, could you, I, I really remember Introspective's video because it was, <laughs> it was so funny how, like, she, he was complaining about, or he was, like, mocking the people that were complaining about Isabel. and when Isabel <laughs> threw the fishing rod, he's like, shadow could have a fishing rod, what is this? And that was, <laughs> one of my favorite moments from the video from him, honestly. <laughs> Isabel was a good trailer, though. It was underappreciated, in my opinion. And after that, a lot of outrage in the Smash community because the Grinch leak got proven false. You remember the famous Grinch leak showing all these awesome characters? Again, speaking of Shadow, Shadow was one of them. All these characters that were coming to the game. Then we saw Incineroar. And we're like, wait, Incineroar wasn't part of that? It was crazy. Because, well, first we had Ken. Ken was beating up stuff and Ken was part of the leak. But then when Incineroar came in, everybody was like, oh no. All these great characters are just deconfirmed. And then people were actually disappointed in Cineroar, but in the real world, Incineroar should have been hype, should have been awesome. New Pokemon, really, really unique moveset. One of the best comeback characters of all time. I have a lot of fun playing Incineroar. I'm sure a lot of people have fun playing Incineroar. I'm glad that Incineroar is in the game. Of course, it would have been nice to have all those other fighters in the Grinch League, but it was just unfortunate for the timing, you know? And then we have our meme character, Piranha Plant. Do you... I didn't know what to think, because when Mario was walking up to that plant, and then all of a sudden the plant just shows up, 
<laughs> what? Like, I, it was such an insane trailer. It was so weird to see that Piranha Plant was joining Smash Ultimate. He just started beating up Mario, and then you saw all the Piranha Plant doing these moves. And we're like, that's when everybody was like, Mr. Sakurai, you are incredible. You can go up with a moveset for literally anything. And that's when the conversations came in about people like Sandbag joining this, the game. Because if you can come up with a move for Piranha Plant, you can come up with a moveset for Sandbag. I would actually love to see Mr. Sakurai and his take on a Sandbag moveset. I really, really would. After that, the Game Awards hit, and we got our announcement for DLC, and it's going to be Joker, which that hit the world by storm. And I, I personally, I never played Persona. I thought it was cool. I knew who Joker was, but at the same time, it made everybody so happy. I was actually quite surprised because I was like, you know, if this character is joining the game, how big must this game be? And I just, I just never played it. That's just me, though. I'm nothing against Joker. Awesome character. Awesome moveset. Love to see the community happy. But I personally don't have too much to say about this trailer. It was just like a Smash invitation. You know, it's like we're joining Smash Bros. Get ready. You know, it's the, the, the typical trailer. It was. It was really cool. But then we have what actually came to be my favorite character that ever been added to Smash Bros. Because Hero, I wasn't a big Dragon Quest guy. I, when, when the moveset got revealed, when the moveset got revealed, I was like, oh my god, look at all these ridiculous special moves. We're bringing RNG in the game. This is my type of character. And then Hero is the most fun character I've ever played in Smash Bros. Such an insane moveset. They put so much thought into all the different spells. I was like, how's this going to work where you're putting... You have to press down B and then choose what move you want to use. But actually, it ended up working really well. Again, Mr. Sakurai just showed his absolute genius in revealing Hero. And the trailer was actually really cool because it was, it was suspenseful at the beginning. It was really suspenseful because the characters are fighting. They're like, okay... What's going on here? What's going on here? It was really interesting. Uh, yeah, Hero is actually a really, really cool character. And after that, our boy Banjo and Kazooie just took the world by storm. I love how they redid the King K. Rule trailer and had the puzzle piece flying around. And then everybody instantly was like, Banjo, that's awesome. And then it was one of those characters that were really, really highly requested. It was really nice to see. Banjo's on the same level as if like someone, when Sonic joined or when Crash, like if Crash were to join, he would be on like that level. Crash, Rayman and Banjo. I feel like those were the huge, huge characters really joining Smash Bros. It was really nice to see Banjo joining. I really, re honestly, I didn't really see much complaining, and that's really hard to say about Smash Bros. Like, that's what we're seeing with Sora right now. Not much complaining, which is really, really nice to see, and you know the team outdid themselves that there's no complaining from the Smash community. Now, after that, we got Terry. I'm a really big fan of adding other fighting games to the best fighting game, in my opinion, because Smash Bros., what other fighting game is better than Smash Bros.? I don't think, I, I think, like, arguably, this is the best one. Like, I know it's, it all comes down to what people like and what their opinions are, but I really do think this is the best one because it comes, it's the best strategy, and you can also make it a party game, you know? It's just different from everywhere. So I'm a big fan of adding other huge fighting games into Smash Bros., and that's why I really, really like Terry. I found the trailer super interesting because, unfortunately, there was a real leak, and we knew that a character was coming. So it was fun how they did the trailer with all the different characters grabbing at the envelope, and eventually Terry got it. It was such a really, really cool trailer, and I was happy to see a fighting game get represented in an even better fighting game, in my opinion at least. Now, after that, oh, oh, Byleth, oh man, that's where we saw the salt from the Smash fans, but me, I'm like, okay, you know what, we saw another cool character in my, that's just a Fire Emblem, whatever, and actually, Byleth ended up having a really cool moveset, that's the best part about it, I really enjoy playing as Byleth, and I love the jab that they took, it's like another anime swords fighter, you know, it was really awesome. A lot of people were really, really upset about it, and that sucked to see, especially because at the time, we didn't think that there were going to be another character. We thought this was going to be ending off things, and we wanted to end it off with a bang, so Sora would be the type of character that he would do this. So people were, like, expecting a character like Sora. Glad Thankfully, we got Sora for the second Fighters Pass, because I can't imagine if they would have done this at the end. It would have been crazy. I would have liked it either way, but regardless, Byleth was an underwhelming trailer, but at the same time, it was hype in my opinion, but I find every trailer hype again. After that, we had Min Min's trailer. Now, we did know that an ARMS character was coming, so nobody's hopes were really let down in that sense, but it was really cool to see, because a lot of people were thinking Springman, even though Springman was an assist trophy. I personally think assist trophies don't deem confirm. You can add whoever you want. It's just like, you can go into the coding. You know, if you make a game like Smash Bros., you can make an assist trophy a fighter. That's just my opinion, but that's not what the argument's about. Point is, a lot of people were thinking Springman was going to be the fighter, but then it actually ended up being Min Min, and everyone was pleasantly surprise the trailer was awesome brought some new memes the trailer was actually really really cool because it was like okay which arms character is gonna win this fight I, I just found that really interesting it was a lot of fun I really really enjoyed Min Min's character I really enjoy Min Min as a character because Min Min you feel like you're playing arms in Smash Bros and they did w one of the best if you want to capture their game Min Min you did the best with the moveset honestly they really did and after that is my all-time favorite reveal trailer of all time we got Steve from Minecraft in Smash Bros. Now, this is something that nobody expected. Like, people talked about Steve and how cool they'd be in Smash Bros., but nobody thought this would ever actually be a thing. And that's what I loved about it. It broke Twitter. 
Can you believe Steve broke Twitter? Like, this is... I, I've always said this, even before. Steve would be the character to blow up the world and just everybody be like, Oh my god, Minecraft Steve. Now, we did get a fair share of salty fans because there are quite a few Minecraft haters. But at the same time, if you want, if you want to talk about characters that deserve a spot in Smash Bros., I truthfully believe Steve deserves a spot over characters like Crash and Sora. I really, really do. I know I understand he's not as requested, but if you want to talk about a celebration of gaming, Steve is the guy to do it. The number one best-selling game, Minecraft. Still popular to this day, probably will be popular for years to go, as long as they keep updating, as long as the servers are keep up. Minecraft will be popular. It's one of the biggest games ever, and Minecraft combined has as many fans as probably all these series that represented in Smash Bros. combined. I think Steve was incredible. I can't believe they actually brought him in, and it was so, so nice to see. And I love that he's a meme character, too. Steve brings the memes. It's awesome. Awesome. That was my favorite trailer in Smash Bros. Steve. Now, after that, we got Sephiroth. I personally got <laughs> flamed up for that one because I didn't, I don't play Final Fantasy. I didn't know who Sephiroth was. I was like, I just knew the Final Fantasy guy. That's how I always knew Sephiroth. I didn't even know his name was Sephiroth. I didn't even know how to pronounce it. I would read it like Sephir, Sephiroth, Sephiroth, something, you know, like I didn't even know how to pronounce him. And then people were like, oh, dude, because I wasn't hyped. And then people started like, didn't like the video. And I was like, oh, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> But I was happy. I thought it was cool. I thought he had a really cool long sword. I can't relate to the hype for this one, though. It was just another character coming to the Smash Bros. for me personally. But it was really nice to watch everybody's reactions and see everybody, like, screaming. He's like, oh, my God, it's Sephiroth. And I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know who it is. And it was just, I, I, I felt bad. <laughs> it was it was a fun time, though. It was a really fun time. And then after that, after the trailer next, I was like, okay, please be somebody I know. <laughs> please be somebody I know. I don't want to go through that again. But it was a lot of fun. That trailer actually was really cool. The One Winged Angel music, it was really cool when it hit. It's like another character. It was really suspenseful. It was like, who's the character going to be? It was a lot of fun. Sephiroth made for some really good reactions, honestly. Now, after that was Pyra and Mithra coming to Smash Bros. Now, this is a character that some people expected and some people didn't, but it wasn't really highly requested. This Quite a bit of salt came from this one, but I love... The best part about it was the memes that came out of it because everybody's simping for Pyra. Pyra's awesome, and Mithra. Who's on Team Pyra, by the way? I'm on Team Pyra. Who, who likes Mithra compared to Pyra? It's not even close, see? And then you dive into these memes. So many good memes came out of it. And then, like, especially, like, the one where Mr. Sakurai is like, Smash Bros. is for good little boys and girls. And it zooms in on, like, Pyra's chest. It was so funny. It was awesome. But regardless, I don't have too much to say about this one. It was a really cool trailer. I liked the ending with Shulk and her, like, taking off. You know, it was... It was really cool. It was fun. It was another character, and I really enjoyed the moveset personally. I love how py how powerful Pyra is. Now, speaking of memes, we got Kazuya. Man, was that fun. And I again, like I talked about with Terry, I'm a big fan of other fighting games getting represented in Smash. And I really, really wanted to see Tekken representation, which was awesome. And I personally, unfortunately, in Tekken, I didn't play as Kazuya, but at the same time, it was like I'm all about the representation. That's what I love about it. And him kicking all those characters off of the stage that made again i i love it because it brings the community together not a lot of people loved the characters on like a hype level but at the same time it brought the community together because so many people were making such good memes out of it and i have to believe that the dev team takes that in consideration go okay this is gonna be the best reveal trailer in the world but how can we make it awesome and it just have them kicking like min min's hanging on and then it's like kicking him and booting her off that's it's hilarious it's awesome it's awesome the way they do this stuff i i really enjoyed that trailer and now we are ending things off with the biggest aside from steve the biggest and best character you could end smash bros off with and that is sora from Kingdom Hearts. It was so suspenseful. I loved what they did with the flame going out because the Smash Bros is ending, the flames going out, and it went back to the first trailer. Mario goes, picks it up, tosses it. He's very suspenseful. Again, it took forever to find out who Sora was. And then so the music hit, the key. Sora came out, he's floating, and then it said, Sora is finally here. It was so, so cool to see. It was so cool to see. Everybody's so happy about it. I personally don't have a huge attachment to Kingdom Hearts. My girlfriend does. She's really happy about it. But <laughs> it, it's it, it's just such a cool thing to see. And then we found out that Sora was the number one on the Smash Belt. The most requested character of all time. You made the East and the West happy. This was the way to end off Smash Bros. It really was. Sora is the best way you could have ended it to make everybody happy. And that's walking you through every single reveal trailer. It was a lot of fun. 
I can't wait to see what happens in next Smash Bros. It's gonna be it's gonna be very very interesting because I don't think they're gonna ever be able to beat this unless they port it and expand upon it, you know. But guys, that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed, please considering the like button and help out the channel a ton and subscribe if you're brand new here. I probably said that wrong. I was I was just thinking about Sora. I was like, man. This is such a good ending to Smash Bros. It was a lot of fun. Regardless, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, if you're new here and enjoy the content, please consider like button. It would help out the channel a ton. And subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. As well, Fortnite content. If you th Speaking of Fortnite content, if you want to use my supporter creator code in the item shop, it's Clint Dash. Go, go hashtag ad. I am a hashtag epic partner. Check the description down below. It'll have links for my other channels. And you will also find Real Ember on Fiverr. If you're looking to be a YouTuber, you want to make thumbnails, go check out Real Ember on Fiverr. It does all my thumbnails. Absolutely fantastic work. So feel free to go check it out. Also, yeah, I don't have anything else to plug in. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Comment down below what your favorite reveal trailer was, because mine was Steve. I'd love to know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next video. Take care.